Hello friends and welcome to another Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Randomizer. Oh, it's it's been a while since I've done one of these and I've been looking forward to coming back to Termina for another randomizer round of fun. So uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Uh, okay, so before I start things up here, um, the uh, events of this randomizer uh, were determined thanks to some comments on another video that I did, my randomizers and how you can help video. And uh, thanks to those comments, uh, this randomizer seed, how it's going to be changed up, is instead of starting with my usual items of a sword, a shield, uh, two heart containers, the Song of Healing, and the Deku Mask, I will be starting instead with six completely random starting items. So I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, all I know is that the items that I can have access to at the start of the game are all one-time collecting items. So uh, we'll say it's the items you can collect on your equipment, your masks, heart pieces, just anything that you can get that's a normally permanent item, uh, I will have access to. But that also means it is very likely I will be starting with one heart, no sword, and no shield. So... <laughs> Oh, the, the, this could be interesting right off the bat. I don't know how this will uh, change my starting dynamic. <laughs> and another thing too, uh, just this one's kind of a bit more for fun. Uh, you might see in the corner there, there's uh, Link wearing the cafe mask. Uh, that's uh, This will not be a case of mistaken identity. I am actually going to play today's game as cafe. Uh, so how this normally works is uh, in the vanilla Majora's mask, uh, Cafe's model is actually a palette swap of Link's model. Uh, he has all the same animations uh, logged in to uh, his sprite. Uh, you can see this at its best when you control Cafe during the uh, Anju Cafe side quest. Uh, so all this does essentially is uh, I will be controlling the Cafe model and it will be swapped with the Link model. So Link takes over the role of Cafe, uh, Cafe takes over the role of Link. Uh, it, it's gonna be very fun. Uh, okay, so I got that, uh, I got my usual spiel out of the way. You all know what's gonna be happening in this randomizer. It's the same goal as before, just, uh, find the four remains at the end of the dungeons and, uh, head up to the moon, beat, uh, Majora. So let's just get started here. Uh, this time I will not be calling myself Link because, uh, I will be Cafe. All right. So I will be able to see some of the things on the start screen here before I click yes to start the game, uh, because it could I could have masks, I could have hard pieces, I could have an ex, uh, upgraded wallet. Um, I, I won't know until I click the A button here, so we'll just take a quick peek now. All right, so, so I either started with one heart container or four heart pieces, but the good news is I do have a starting mask. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's kind of a brief summary there, but uh, once I start the game up here, I'll take a quick gander at my inventory and see what we got. All right, let's not put this off any longer. Back to Termina we go in three, two, one, go. All right, here's hoping I have a good mask to start off right off the bat. And... All right, uh, so nothing there. I start off with a giant's mask. <laughs> okay, so I start with that. And I start with the mirror shield right off the bat. Okay. And it looks like that's all I got. So I literally got four heart pieces. To be fair, that is a thing that can happen since there are quite a number of heart pieces in the game. Okay. But as you can see here, uh, this is the cafe model. Uh, just kind of a personal preference. I uh, palette swap or color swapped to black. And I gotta say, I really like the color scheme. And looks like I have the ocarina pipes as a random starter. Okay. All right, so things won't be normal as for what I usually do. So we'll have to see what we get right off the bat. It's kind of nice that I already start with the mirror shield. Oh yeah, cafe will still sound like Link. That is gonna be a thing. There we go. So yeah, we will be seeing, yep, there's Link right there. So like I said, it's just a palette swap. Still wearing the Keaton mask. All right, so just gonna be doing my usual uh, laundry pool uh, loop into West Clocktown to uh, see some items. 
Would have been nice if I started with an upgraded wallet, but, uh, eh, can't win them all. But having no sword is going to make things a little bit more interesting, I think. All right, West Clocktown, what do you got for me? You'll see some good things. Oh. Oh, wow, that's like basically a vanilla shop. Oh, please tell me you're cheap. Well, 50 for a hundo is not bad. Okay, so once again, this is going to be a uh, section where I be, I'm going to be taking down a lot of notes. Uh, okay, so this is... Moon's Tear. We'll need the compass, I think. Zora Mask for 30. And the opponent song. Okay, uh, so I definitely want to get 70 rupees. Uh, 100 rupees would be optimal. I know I'll be getting a handful of rupees right off the bat. Okay, and the Zora Mask would be great. Oh, we got a few things in here too. Okay, so Bomb Shop's going to be pretty lucrative. Uh, oh, okay, so this is going to be... This is going to be a bit of uh, heavy note-taking here. Uh, okay, so the bottle of red potion. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, so my sword is in the bomb shop here. And a stone tower small key. Okay. Okay. All right, so that takes care of some notes there. That's pretty good. Oops. Hey, stop having such a long uh, talk range. All right. Uh, can't do the Swordsman's School right off the bat. Uh, I gotta check the lottery, too. I won't have rupees to get a ticket, but at least I can see what the reward is. Uh, red rupee. Okay. For anyone just needing a quick reminder, that is the same reward you get on all three days, so I don't have to check the lottery at all. Which is good, because that's another section on my notes that I keep, just to make sure I, uh, I have it ready to go, just in case. Alright, behind the balloon is a red rupee. All things considered, I may get that. Okay. Alright. Fairy Fountain number one. What do you give? Hey, Captain's Hat! Alright. Well, that means I can do some graveyard shenanigans. Alright, let's get that uh, 20 rupee there pretty quick. I'll take anything for some quick rupees right now, especially considering I have no means of offense until I buy the sword. It's good to know that the sword is close. But I haven't found a long range option yet. That, that's interesting. All right. So get the treasure chest that is behind the shops here. I'll probably hold off on doing the treasure game until I can bring the Zora Mask along with me, too. It would be pretty easy. <clears throat> oh, man. Pardon me there. Uh, I'll just take a swig of water here real quick. Okay. So I know where a red potion is. Now, I do know that I can buy the red potion in the bomb shop, too, because whenever you get the bottle of red potion check, it changes just to a regular red potion drop. Um, hey, what were you looking up there, uh, up there guard? All right. So time to do my usual shenaniganries here in Termina before I hopefully don't get blown up by a bomb shoot. There we go. All right, all the usual Grotto Quick Hunts. Uh, I can't actually get a Deku Stick or Deku Nuts in my inventory right now. All right, well, hey, we're already starting back up at three hearts. So that's pretty good. Starting at one heart uh, makes things a little bit more interesting. Um, 
I, I may have made mention of this in a previous randomizer when my health got really low, but uh, if your health is at one heart, uh, your the camera zooms in real close, and if you were to just keep walking in a straight line, uh, eventually you will tilt, and you'll walk in a completely not straight direction until you input a new direction. Uh, I think it's known as critical health wiggle or crit wiggle. So if uh, if you're really low on hearts, you that's the only time you'd ever notice it. Now I know that uh, anyone who has played a Zelda game long enough will probably not be taking a lot of damage, and uh, the only way you'd probably notice that is if uh, you were having a really bad day, or you set it so that you do take additional damage uh, when you uh, uh, play the game. Like I normally do, I am playing at uh, double damage, so I will... Uh, potentially be taking more damage, but uh, it all depends. All right, no hook shot, uh, so I can't get that treasure there. Uh, getting the Zora mask will let me start doing some things, so that might be one of my first buys. And getting the Zora mask would give me a potential long range option, so that is something to consider. So let's go get... Okay, I don't really need the Moon's Tear right off the bat. If I know it's here, I can just keep... I can just come back and get it. Uh, Zora Mask for 30. So we got the Zora Mask. Let's scratch that off my own notes here. Uh, I will get the Silver Rupee here. So that'll recharge my wallet right up to max, which then let's get me this. All right, would you like to buy anything else? Not today. Oh wait, did I time that right? No wait, no, that was right after I bought the Zora Mask, duh. Silly me. All right, now I will be getting the sword. I don't need the bottle just yet. If I get a few more rupees coming up here in the, a little bit. But there we go. That is the Kokiri Sword. All right, so maybe a little bit of a <laughs> broken start, but hey, at least I have a sword, a shield, and two extra hearts. And no Deku Mask and no Song of Healing, so I'm, I'm kind of on point. All right, but now I can do the Swordsman School. Yep, usual tip uh, that I go with. Once you Z-target the log, uh, wait like a few frames of uh, wait, and then uh, you'll be straight on with the log, which then will let you do a jump slash no problem. Right, two more logs to go. And there we go. Challenge taken care of. Hey, thanks for the money. I'm only a few off of getting... I could go get that bottle. Now, I do have the Zor Mask, so this will give me a little extra movement. But I can go to... I can go to the Fairy Fountain and get a reward for being in a transformed state. And I can also break the balloons. So I'll be able to do a few things around here. I like this. And what do we got? Hey, we're getting some health back. I like this. All right. Time to do what I normally do here as a check with. Angle! Go, come on back. <laughs> All right, go through Tingle's life story. Magic beans. Okay, uh, that's a thing I'm gonna make a note of. 
It may only be one, but... Five, there we go. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Just... It'll be on me. I mean, that, that at the very least takes care of two of uh, Tingle's checks. All right, and I guess while I'm still looking for things around here, so something you can do is you can break the balloon with something that isn't a uh, human link, and they'll be like, hey, you just popped it. Do you want to take the test? Okay, let's get that bomber code taken care of. Now, I don't have anything that can help me out here, so... I'm gonna have to actually do some running. Oops, no, don't need to. I've got no mail. Oh man, I uh, was kind of uh, slacking on that one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I almost had you. It's kind of difficult when you don't have a means to stun them. Okay. Takes care of you. Now, anyone who's watched my uh, first two randomizers will notice that I stopped, or I slowed down time right off the bat, as opposed to um, uh, waiting for it, because I know there's an event in East Clocktown that I normally go for. I decided to start practicing where I have time slowed down, because it would give me more time to do things in a single cycle. Like, I did, I did try a run on my own time, practicing that, and I, I did notice that I was getting a lot more done uh, before I had to turn the cycle. So I'm giving this a shot and seeing what happens. Oops. Oh, you're just gonna go in the box, aren't you? Oh, I need to lure you away. You did that. There we go. Alright. Not doing too bad. Just gotta go get the one kid in West Clock Town, and I will have the bomber code. It's not bad, and it's not even 9 o'clock. I like this. And if I do get more rupees, I could just go trade in the Moon's Tear. Alright, but that's good. If I do eventually find the Song of Soaring, uh, <laughs> and thanks to having the sword, uh, I have the means to mark the statues. Good. Got you before you noticed. Alright. I already know one's the middle number. We got the Oath to Order! Okay! And I just noticed I can mark a bonus song too. That's what I felt like I was missing. Alright, so the five bombers found the secret to helping me get up to the moon. So... There we go. Three, two, one, four, five. Oops. Alright. Let's go into the hideout. I got a little time before uh, the meeting starts in the mayor's uh, uh, abode. All right, so three, two, four, five. There we go. All set there. Now, I don't have the blast mask or an explosive, so I do have to skip that one treasure. But I can get up to the telescope. Now, I am going to do something else as well. Something I've made sure I start practicing. Uh, I can use the telescope to get the business scrub into the grotto in Clocktown. Or, not Clocktown, Termina. So, hopefully, uh, everything will work. Come on, you can... There we go. Uh, yeah, get the business scrub into the grotto, and then I can actually check and see what the business scrub will be selling. And then I can make a note of it and say, hey, wait a second, I should make sure I come back when I have... Uh, the adult wallet. Since I would need 100 rupees at minimum to be able to get it. And that should be enough to get a bottle. And conveniently, it's a bottle of red potion, so... Uh, anything I do in, uh... Okay, it's just a heart piece. All right, will I gaze into the telescope? Yes. It's right, so getting spawned. I'm not sure if I have to watch it all the way, but I think uh, I have to 
I have to see it go into the hole for the flag to count, so I'm just in case. There you go, you're good. Eh, sure, why not? I'll get the heart piece, because who knows, maybe health will work. Kind of a shame I do have to watch the cutscene. There we go. And gone. All right. So I won't have to watch the telescope unless I have to get the business scrub on a different cycle. Because that's going to be the that's going to be the small problem is if I do find the adult wallet on this cycle after having talked with the business scrub, the scrub just leaves the grotto. Uh, upon talking for the first time, so I'd have to wait till the next cycle. But at the very least, I'll have that information. And information is a good thing to have. I learned that the hard way in my last Ocarina randomizer. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Alright, the uh, meeting will be in just a second. That's perfect. All right, sadly, I will have to watch the cutscene again uh, for uh, <laughs> the inauguration into the bombers. So thankfully, I can just do a quick text scroll. Here we go. Go away. All right. In we go. Now this is gonna this is gonna be kind of weird because it's Cafe talking to his mother, and it's like, hey, can you locate my son? And it doesn't actually change it to Link because it still keeps the same text. It's like, mom, I'm right here. Hey, okay, well, thanks for the money, but uh, I'm right here. All right, we got that all taken care of. So yeah, it'll uh. <laughs> That'll be something fun to watch, though, if I have to do the Anju Cafe side quest. Because that'll be Link playing that role, so it'll be kind of fun. Uh, anyways, I'm going to do West Clock Town, get that bottle of red potion. I think get six more rupees. Um, there's a possibility. If I got six more rupees, I could do... Three... Four, five... Not enough, of course. So let's just leave, come back, and that'll give me the rupees that I need. So with that, I believe I will just go down the way of the swamp first. Uh, do all my things that I would normally do there, because, hey, my inventory's not doing too bad. Maybe I'll get lucky with some of the things I find. Um, and I do have Epona's song too, so and Zora's mask, so guess who has really easy access to the ocean now? It's perfect. Uh, but we'll do some shopping here real quick, get some items. Alright, shopkeep, I would like that bottle of red potion, please. Thank you much. And now it just becomes a regular old red potion. And now we'll just get that moon's tear out of the way. It was 30, right? Hi. Yes, it was. Okay. I'll set there. Exhausted all my rupees, but hey, Clock Town was a success. Right, it's on this one. All right. Moonsteer, what does you have? And survey says a boss key to Great Bay Temple. Okay. Great information. Uh, do scrub in clock. And 
and that also means I have traded, I have officially traded the tier. There we go. All right, well, hey, one boss key. I'm actually gonna start marking that on my tracker. Uh, maybe I'll mark the one uh, small key for Stone Tower too. I haven't officially collected it, but I have that information. All right. So we're looking pretty good here so far. Uh, I don't have... I don't have 10 rupees for a race with the Gorman brothers, sadly. And if I rode through enough bushes, I'm sure I could mass a few rupees. Give it a shot. Let's try. Oh, wait. Well, that actually kind of helps. Um... There's one set of bushes over here. And I do have, there is a treasure chest I can get too, so we'll work with that. Maybe I'll get something good for my trouble. Because I have a Zora mask. So yeah, Pirate's Fortress uh, for a few treasure chests is a good one. Uh, dungeon map to Snowhead. All right, uh, that's a thing. Keep moving. I'll try if... Actually, yeah, here's what I'll do. Um, I will get the treasures that I normally... Or, not the treasures, the rupees that I can normally get from the Swamp Archery Grass. So I keep uh, forgetting, that's a really good source of rupees. Okay. And... What do you have? Oh, I see something up there. I have... Yep, that is good enough. Just up there, thank you. Oh, come on, get him on back. That's a shot that I like to see. Go. That was cool. I'm, I'm glad that it was able to angle the way it did. And you're gonna hit me. Good thing I've got all that health. Okay, take care of that, get you out of the way. I had you. Come on, let's go on the back sides. Yeah, <laughs> you can't hit me. That was worth it, I don't care how much <laughs> I don't care how much wasted effort that was. That was worth it. All right, but I saw something up here that I thought it was like, and I, I was right. It is a bow. There we go. Long range option acquired. All right, let's not forget that grotto. All right, we're sitting pretty. We got the bow. That means I have access to halfway up a snowhead. All right, and we can get my Deku Stick, Deku Nut combo from these grottos. Just take them care of them now. All right, looking pretty darn good so far. And heart piece to heal up, there we go. Beautiful, I'm liking this. Uh, all right. Pona is still my fastest method of transportation right now, so... I can just get on you. Weave my way through the trees here. Heh. You know, funnily enough, I could actually do swamp archery right now, thanks to having the bow. You know what? I may have wanted to save this for a mini-game day uh, type of cycle, but... You know what? I'm already here. It's two things. It's not as difficult as the town archery. So I'll, uh... I'm gonna give it a sh oh, actually, I'll get one more round of rupees uh, from this just to make sure I can do both. And then I will strive to actually get this done. Hopefully I do not flub this up. There we go. 
Should I get the Wolfos? That's one I want to make sure I get. Good thing I know you stopped there. There we go. Okay, I'm a little... I'm a little slow. Okay, and then it's the other side. I still haven't even gotten the, uh... I was so good on my one shot there. I haven't gotten... Oh, yep, gotta get the Wolfos. There we go. Take care of that. And we have this wave of... Takus. Almost. That is enough to spawn you. Go. Shoot you down. 2120. There we go. A little slow, but I got a perfect. And. Ah, uh, just five rupees. But there is two rewards. Let's try this again. I'm warmed up. Oh man, if I'm if I'm like this, trying to do uh town archery is going to be diff -i cult. Oh, just missed you. It's kind of a sad that I will have to wait on some of them, too. All right, round two. Gotcha. Lower side, that one's easy. One, two, three. Aim you there. Get you first. Keep missing that one. All right, round two of the birds. Does that. Got you. All right. Another round. Jeez, I thought I had you. One and two and almost three. Come on. There we go. One, and two, and get you, and down. There we go. It's slightly better than the last time. <laughs> okay, but what does round two gift us? Hard piece. Okay, I do not have to do swamp archery anymore. I'm okay with this. And that's good. Takes it out, uh, takes it out of the equation. Now, I will go in again, because this is one of the best early spot grinding rupees. So I will have a full wallet going into the swamp. <laughs> oh, that was cool. There we go. All stacked up on that. Now, the next thing I don't ha I have to worry about in Clock Town is the midnight uh, bomb bag theft. But, as you can tell, uh, because time is slowed, there's a lot more I can do. So I'm gonna get some information here. Oops. I haven't put the bow onto my C stick, or C buttons yet. So I would like to know, what is the 40 rupee option on this tingle? Since this will be check number three. It is a piece of heart that I do not need. Okay. So I'm going to go take care of uh, quick Epona things in Milk Road. And then I will probably do some things in the swamp. I know it might seem a little counterintuitive to backtrack, but some of these things I can do quicker, and it's not uh, as time sensitive as, say, the race with the Gorman brothers. And plus, there's a bunch of uh, early things I can do in the uh, 
in Great Bay. Okay. So you're set. All right, Tingles check number... Uh, no, actually, that check three was the mountain. So here's checks four and five. We got... Magic and Bomb Bag! Okay, yes! Thank you, Magic. And provided this is not an ice trap, because if that is a possibility, I will gladly take that Bomb Bag right now, please. And it is not an ice trap. We have a Bomb Bag. Okay. That's great. That'll make some things in uh, upcoming events a lot easier. Okay. Now, one thing I gotta make sure I check first is the 50 rupee check, which I have to be off Epona. Uh, oh, you actually just talk about it regardless. Okay, well, fine. I'll race you now. I didn't know that, actually. If uh, Epona's in with you, it's automatically the uh, race check. All right. Well, it looks like we're doing a whole bunch of mini games real early. But that's fine. If you do this one right, it is fun. And you get to listen to one of the best songs in the game. Do, 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 do. Okay, I just missed my timing there a little bit. Should be able to get some back here. There we go. Yeah, this is when I would start to overtake. Because they make the mistake of going wide. Oh, no. Oh, I can do it. I have one more boost. I can hear it just out of the corner of my ears, but I just did it. There we go. I thought I messed it up at the end there. All right. Well, you're defeated. What do we get? The Deku Mask! All right, two transformation masks down. Oh, man, really good thing I came back here. Race against us for 10 rupees. Uh, we will not uh, do the race. Okay, so it even says, do not come to this place on your horse. Interesting. So if you don't mind me, I will just take my best horse ever. I'll leave, and then I'll come right back. All right, that's good. Two transformation masks down. And for once, I didn't start with the Goron mask. All right, so for 50 rupees, what do you sell? Oh, okay. So <laughs> so it's the, uh, the boss key that uh, seems to love making me uh, pained a little bit. There we go. <laughs> So, nope. All right, well, hey, that is good to know. I have two boss keys found already. Now it's gonna be a fun question of how long does it take me to find the others? Okay. Now, I do know that with a full inventory selection, I can get up Snowhead with zero small keys. Uh, so having that is okay. I just hope I have the inventory that will allow me to do that. That's the big question. All right, so I will go grab uh, another chock full of rupees. Since that did exhaust me a little bit doing uh, the race in the buyout. Man, all this stuff I've gotten so far and it's only two o'clock in the afternoon on the first cycle. I like this. I think, uh... I think I know it still depends on the seed, but I'm starting to think slowing down time is a pretty good idea. Now I just have to remember because there is the day two grotto in the Woods of Mystery. I would have to remember to come back here and check that in a later point. But now we can explore the swamp proper and got a pretty good inventory to do it. Okay, red rupee on the top. It's good to know. All 
Now, if I was real crazy, uh, and I know I am, but that's beside the point, um, I could very well uh, get to the Deku Palace from here with this inventory. All right, so I'll check what you have before. Red Ruby to Deku Scrubs. Okay, don't have to worry about that. You didn't understand my uh, problem, so I won't do anything. Now, normally I would go through this as Goron Link, but since I am currently lacking in Goron Masks, uh, Deku Link, I think, is the best for now. Although, <laughs> the funnier part is I can control this a whole lot better. Okay, and I just noticed, too, with my magic, it's a darker green this time. I'll take it. All right, so let's see if I can remember day one Woods of Mystery, because I've been going through this day two quite a bit. But it is pretty, uh, uh, pretty standard for day one. It is just kind of like a half figure eight. There we go, that's right. Doesn't talk to Deku's. But interesting, I can actually skip the cutscene if I go in there as just the Deku. Uh, okay, I do not want to trigger this just yet, uh, because I do want to talk to uh, Kome up here. And this way I can also see what's in her shop. Hopefully it's some more good things, because I like the fact that I can check three things right off the bat. And it's a... I'm going to assume that's the spin attack. Heart container I don't need. I didn't. I don't see what the third item is yet. Romani's mask. There we go. So I have access to the bar. Oh, hello. Is that a silver rupee? Ooh, silver for 20. 20 and 10. That, oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to check this. I'm fairly certain this is going to be an ice trap. I was right. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that'll happen. I don't mind I don't mind that purpose ice tra uh, purposeful ice trap. Oops. That's right. Mushrooms. That's a thing I'll have to remember. Okay. But now I can buy the heart container for cheap. And then if I remember to keep talking to her, I can recharge my wallet right back up. Okay, so I, I do know that if it does show a transformative uh, or an item upgrade state that I already have or have had access to, it is an ice trap. Knowledge was gained, and all I had to do was suffer a little bit of frostbite. Okay, I think still be a little bit faster. Go spinning through the woods. There we go again. Yes, yes, I will talk to you this time. And I will give you the potion. There you go. Revived! Alright. Well, that works. And then we just talk to the monkeys. But this is all about being fast. Alright. So, other than the day two grotto, I've done everything I need to here. Most acceptable. Just in case. And having magic, too, is an even better thing, too. Uh, I will have... Um, I do have access to Deku Bubble, if it need be. I've got access to Zora Shield. I am going to do something here. Kind of as a backup. Nope. I got another Deku Stick. That can help. The reason I'm carrying the fairy is if I have to do poison water shenanigans uh, in a near bit, 
uh, that helps me to get further in without hurting myself too much. Now, yeah, I should probably take the freebie uh, boat cruise. There is a way to actually skip it if you're far enough away from the door. Uh, but in this case, well, take a little bit of time and I save myself a whole bunch of damage. All right, things are things are looking pretty good so far. Uh, I'm getting the the masks that I really want. Uh, Finding Fierce Deity would be great. Um, that's right. I can do this. I got the Moon's Tear. I got the Kokiri Sword. Uh, songs are okay. That's every mask that I've gotten so far. None of Cafe's items. I did find Red Potion. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was some good time to update my tracker. Now, uh, since it is getting near close time, I will probably be taking break around the hour marks. Uh, I know last time in the Ocarina uh, playthrough, um, I did uh, try to do hour and a half, but I thought, you know what, hour long and maybe a bit, uh, I think does me a lot better. So, gonna go for an hour, see what happens. And then take a to take a small break, and then hop right back into the action. Now it is almost nighttime, so that would be better for hunting. But I can make my way through this uh, as a for daytime. So I'll go over here because I know that Deku loves to turn uh, when I least expect it. So we go there. That's fine. Turn. There we go. Actually, yeah, I just have to see what the item is. Hard piece. Okay, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, I thought I would have been able to skip it. Ah, that's fine. Alright, we'll go visit uh, Bean Grotto. So this one will be a little bit simpler. Now, of course, I will wait, because I am very infamous for missing this quite a bit. Right there. As soon as you turn. There we go. Should be able to hop in there. There we go. Got through, no trouble. All right, so what do we get here? Hard piece, okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy a couple extra just in case. Having them is a good idea. There we go, and I'll probably have to come back here if I need the five beans to enter the well. All right, now I did just realize I will need this bottle for spring water. And I'll have to remember to bring an extra bottle with me. Some magic beans. Hopefully soon I'll find the hook shot and then at the very least I'll have all the items I normally need for initial travel. That would be great. You're good. All right. Uh, oops. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to wait. All right. We are getting close to night one. All right. I guess I'm gonna have to wait. So yes, I have to remember be back at uh, Clock Towns North before midnight. Okay, so I've got my spring water, I got my beans, I got another hard piece, no surprise. Did that. Get caught, there we go, and now I can do the uh, palace jumping. This is good, by the, 
By the end of night one, I'm already doing all the things I would normally do in a vanilla playthrough of this game. Decanut, always a good thing. Let's get you planted. Get you watered. Get up. Now, I remember the Deku scrubs uh, flowers being a little bit finicky. Now it registers that uh, we're on this part. There we go. Yeah, the funny part, uh, when I was a lot younger, uh, because of the nature of the game and thinking, hey, I'm a Deku, I have to be in this form, and if I'm not, I will get caught instantly. Uh, I never thought to take off my mask, use the bow, Actually, no, that... And now, in my current age, I realize that at this point in the game, in a vanilla playthrough, I wouldn't even have the bow. So, doing this normally, uh, I would have to use the bubble. But in later run-throughs, when I'm trying to get through this uh, at later points of the game, I would never have thought, uh, get out of the mask and just use the bow. <laughs> so much simpler. Looks like I'll be able to make the cycle there. Oops. Well, look at that. Probably one of my best uh, hop-throughs of palace skipping yet. Or palace jumping. Technically, if I was skipping, that would be the Fierce Deity Mask for me. Well, there we go. So now I won't have to come back to the palace. Small key to Snowhead. Okay, so before the cutscene triggers... Uh... Okay, so... I don't know how, where the other two keys for Snowhead might be located, but uh, if there is a possibility of needing that small key, I might have to come back. Funny how the game works out sometimes, you know? So I guess I found one of you. All right, so I'll go find the, uh, what the contents of the chests are in the Woodfall Swamp. I gotta remember that grotto was I'm coming back down. Aha! Come on down, I'll hit you too. There we go. Don't have to deal with that. Now, if I really wanted to take the long way uh, doing it, I could do the, um, I could do the uh, Swamp Spider House, but we're not going to, because that would just be stupid without a hookshot, Goron Mask, Fierce Deity, Link Mask. Songstone is 50 rupees. Okay. All right. Three treasures in Woodfall area. What do we got? I'm not afraid of you. I got bubbles. Take that. And all these decanuts, well, might as well use them. Let's aim myself right here. Great thing about having the sword, I can trigger the statue. So if I do eventually find the Song of Soaring, I'm going to be set. The issue is, when will I find the Song of Soaring? So I remember the last uh, seed of this that I did, it was right at the end of the game when I found it. and did save me a lot of time on that uh, quick stone tower gamble. I remember that. 
All right, chest number the first. Another hard piece, not surprised. And it's giving me a lot of health for this. You. Aha! Your life ends as soon as your head pops out. Yeah, I can I can tackle you with Deku nuts, no problem. And there we go. go. Land on the bridge safely. <laughs> I always manage to catch that scrub in that spot of uh, its animation. Alright. So time-wise I'm doing pretty good. Health-wise I'm doing great. Come on. There we go. What do we get? Okay, found another uh, grouping of magic beams. This one's probably a little bit more out of the way than I want. All right. So I don't know how well this will go, but I'm going to give it a shot. At least I have... Uh, I do actually have a way out. Uh, the boat is still in spot. All right, this isn't so bad. Might not have to get too poisoned covered just yet. However, the amount of leg on the screen right now is amazing. All right, what do we got? <laughs> wow, the number of heart containers I have gotten so far is amazing. Uh, man, I almost have a full row of hearts and I haven't even hit the end of day one. All right, so I'm going to use the boat. It's a bit of an extra time sink. Now, you can't trigger the boat as the Deku. You can only trigger it as the human. And it also freezes time if you do it like that. So uh, there's a cool little uh, glitchy effect for you. At least I'm fairly certain it stops time, but uh, uh, at the very least, it does take away the... Uh, clock UI there. But that is pretty good. I've taken care of every single thing I need to in the swamp except for the Day 2 Grotto and the Woods of Mystery. And I guess Pictobox related stuff too. Man, it's kind of fun that this dragonfly is still following me around. You're lagging the game too. Stop doing that. All right, you've, uh, you've unloaded. That's good. All right, so now the next question is, uh, what do I do next? Okay. Uh, I think I know what I will do here. I get this with me. Uh, that's something I can trade into the Curiosity Shop for the uh, 20 rupee check. Actually, I got an idea. Speed up time. Okay, time goes to normal. Okay, so 10 o'clock, Curiosity Shop. Uh, 12 o'clock, North Clock Town. Oh, hey, you can jump over the Deku Flowers. I legitimately didn't know you could do that. Maybe it was just the spot on the that the Deku Flower was on? Question mark? Uh, okay, with a little time to kill here, I guess I'm going to do this. Uh, I will plant the bean here. I can go get some spring water or just wait for rain to start naturally occurring on day two. And that will let me get the 
uh, flower platform. I guess I really don't have to rush now that I think about it. Um, yeah, what's, uh, what do we got down here in the Biobaba Grotto? Because I have bombs. Ow. Alright. I just have to... Hit that. We got arrows. Not needed. That is fine by me. Right, so now I can just... Oh, invincibility frames. Oh my goodness. Yeah, take that. <laughs> I'm gonna get by you no matter what. Okay, uh, Curiosity Shop, quick check, and then North Clock Town at pretty much a perfect time. All right. 20 rupees, what do you sell? Oh. I mean, I'll accept the deal in the future, but uh, doesn't really work for me there. Alright, I will deposit rupees into the bank eventually, but I still got some good uh, shopping potentials uh, coming up here in a little bit. Especially when the big bomb bag shows up. Uh, as soon as I finish this, uh, I'll be able to see what that is. Okay. Well, not bad. Uh, God, I can't believe how much stuff I have gotten done so far. Uh, just in this first day alone, so I'm, I'm thinking I really am gonna keep going with the slow down time, uh, method, uh, for maybe any future runs. Uh, cause certainly, like, I got everything done in this, I, I know it does really have to do with all the items that I, I got, but I got everything done in the swamp. Um, I have the access, uh, ready for the ocean and getting up uh, great, or, uh, Snowhead. Uh, minus the Goron Mask, but that's later. So, all things good so far. Alright, time to do what I normally do, which is get in this guy's way every time. And also watch as no one attempts to stop him. You know, if the guard there wasn't looking up, they would have witnessed it. They could have stopped you. Ah, fine, you get away again. Alright, so what do we got? Ah, at least it means that I know what we, uh, don't have to do that again. Alright. But that does mean the big bomb bag is open in the shop, and we have just passed the first hour mark. So I'll go see what this shop has to offer, and then I think it'll be a good time for a break. What do we got? Heart piece, don't need you. Okay, and pause. All right. Well, there we go. First hour taken care of, and man, that was fun. Uh, finding all of the uh, masks uh, so far, like nothing... Nothing major outside of the transformation masks, but um, that does just give me an idea of something I can do uh, in the next bit. Um, so, yeah, I won't, uh, uh, like like I usually do with the breaks, just a little, a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather. Uh, and then I will sit myself down for the next hour and continue this adventure. So hopefully you will join me on this. So thank you very much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe and have a good day.